Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us once again. We're doing another lamb dish for you. Karen found a recipe made, uh, it was Jamie Oliver's recipe on the internet. And it's a spicy lamb with walnut and pomegranates. And that inspired me a little bit, so I'm going to use some of those ideas and we're going to do it my way. I'm going to do it old T-Roy style down here in Southern Texas. So should be a great recipe. Let me get started making this and show you what goes in it. Y'all stick around. All right, everybody, I got a Dutch oven here and I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil, probably a couple, a couple tablespoons or so. A little olive oil in the bottom of there. We're gonna brown up some of this lamb. I just went up to my local grocery store, H-E-B, and uh, picked up some lamb. It's already been cubed, so it's ready for the, uh, ready to do some stew with it. Let me show you back over here where y'all can see what I'm doing. I got some uh, regular AP flour, all-purpose flour. We'll put that on there. We're going to hit it with some salt and pepper. We're just going to coat this lamb all over. Okay, my oil's up to temp, I believe. Let's go ahead and throw in this lamb. Oh, yeah. And again, all we're going to do is brown it up on each side. All right, we are about four minutes in and it browned up pretty good. Now I've got some walnuts. We're going to throw some coarsely chopped up walnuts in there. All right, next we're going with a half of a red onion, just coarsely chopped. Two stalks of celery, or two ribs actually, of celery. That's uh, about four cloves of garlic. Two serrano peppers that have been seeded and deveined. Give these a nice little mix. Let them cook for you know, three or four minutes probably. All right, we've been going for a few minutes and everything is smelling fantastic. I've got a half of a stick of cinnamon. We'll throw that in. I got two bay leaves right here. Throwing those in. Got a little bit of this port wine reduction. I don't know if y'all can get this. If you can't, just use some use some regular port wine if you want. I'll reduce it in here. But we've got a lot of buildup on the bottom down there, the bottom of the pan, and we're going to deglaze it. Chicken stock going in. All right, and let's just let that deglaze on the bottom. All right, guys, we're back. Just in case you haven't seen this lamb that I was using the other day that I cooked on the Kamado Joe from uh, Low Bells here, man. This, this lamb is just absolutely terrific. It still smells amazing. And we're just gonna cut some of this up, kind of cube it up a little bit. Put that into our stew. Just as simple as that, guys. Nothing to it. This is the lamb that I just cut up. We're gonna just toss that in there. Man, this is, oh, that's, oh, God, it smells good. This is gonna add a real nice smoky flavor to this stew. We're going in pomegranate juice. And I'm thinking uh, maybe six, maybe eight ounces, somewhere in that range. Potatoes, and I got some of these little fingerling potatoes right here, just so you know. And I cut up some carrot. We're gonna go in with all that. And now I need to get some water. I just kinda, just, just barely cover this. Let me grab some water, we'll be right back. All right, folks, we've been going here uh, probably about three and a half hours, actually. Uh, I had to do some other stuff, so what I did, I put it on a smaller burner back here in the back and I turned it on extremely low, just the lowest it would go. And I just kept the lid on, let it keep going. And I think we're about there. Yeah, so uh, at this point, what you wanna do is take your bay leaves out. I mean, you just need to cook it long enough so that the, uh, the lamb is really super tender and almost falling apart. Let's take the, uh, well, that's hot. Take out the, uh, the cinnamon and the bay leaves if you can find the bay leaves. I'm just gonna throw that in there. And we're gonna let this keep going. And I am gonna skim the grease off the top of this. I'm gonna let this go for another half hour or so. My potatoes and my carrots are uh, real, you know, getting tender. But man, this smells, this smells really good. All right, gang, we're back. I'm gonna fish out this rosemary. It's been a half hour. And the rosemary pieces that are just left in there, I'm gonna, that's fine. I'm gonna leave those in there. But I just tasted this once again. And it, it does, 
it does have a pretty good flavor, but it's still missing something. I just, I just can't get this going right. I'm gonna try to put some some of this uh, broth, the beef broth in there, a little base. I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons of this. And we're just gonna see if that'll do anything for it. I'm trying to make this work, folks. But I think the recipe as it was written just isn't quite up to par for the way I like stuff to taste. All right, so I'm gonna give us another 10, 15 minutes on simmer with the lid on. We'll be back. All right, folks, let's check this out. I'm, I, I actually did taste it already. You know, I, I was fixing to scrap this video. I just didn't feel that it was worthy. But I added a beef base to it. Just, just two of those teaspoons, man. That made all the difference in the world. This actually turned out pretty doggone good. That beef base, it, it just really brought all the flavors together. Maybe I should have used the beef base in the beginning instead of using the chicken broth or chicken stock. Oh well, hindsight's 2020, isn't it? See, we're cooking, man. So, here you go. Give you a little taste of it. Mmm. It's really pretty good. I like that little kick in the back of your throat from the serrano pepper. You can leave it out if you don't want it hot. Just, you know, do what you want with it, but the original recipe, I'll put the link down below so y'all can find it. But I like my version a whole lot better. I was pretty close to the original recipe until I added that beef base and, you know, surroundings and stuff, but y'all give it a shot, man. Make it your own, just like I did. It's just, it's overwhelming, man. This, this is some really, really good stuff. Oh, you're talking about some, some tender lamb. This is actually some of the lamb from the uh, from the cook the other day. So look, see it just breaking apart. That's what you want. That's what you want right there. <laughs> My dog's going nuts. Anyway, it's real tender. You just cook it however long you want to get it as tender as you want. This is gonna be a fine stew. And again, make it your own. That's what cooking's all about. Have fun with it. Take a recipe, make it your own. Anyway, appreciate y'all joining. I hope y'all gave me a thumbs up. Hey, I hope y'all like the video. I'm fixing to go chow down on this Irish, uh, what is it, lamb stew? Yeah, it's all, I almost called it a beef stew, but it's, it's lamb stew. It turned out pretty good. And that rosemary at the end, that really helped a lot too. So, there you go. There you have it. Sub if you're not a sub. Hope y'all share the video, and when you do, I hope you tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly. <laughs> See y'all next time, folks.